Good morning, everyone. I am Anshul Jain, Assistant Professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, SIRT College, Bhopal. So, moving further in this uh, video series, we are discussing about various type of construction materials, which are very much important. Today, we are going to have some details about the different types of pipe materials which are utilized. What are their properties or the advantages and disadvantages? So before beginning about this topic, let me tell you where this pipe material is utilized. Pipe is an important material because we need to transport various uh, type of uh, uh, substances like uh, normal water for the drinking and the domestic purposes. Simultaneously, we have to also remove the waste water from the household and the industries. So we require a medium through which this liquid content can be transported from one end to the other end. So they are varied according to the sizes also. There are large diameter main pipes, which are uh, supplying water to the entire town. There are smaller branch pipelines also, which supplies any particular group of building or at the street. And there are further smaller diameter pipes, which are located within the individual buildings. So based on the sizes, these are the types. Also, there are various type of materials, which are utilized for the construction of pipes. Like we have metallic pipes, which includes steel pipes, galvanized iron pipes, and cast iron pipe, that is CI pipes. As per the content of cement, if it is used for manufacturing pipe, we have concrete pipes. We also have asbestos cement pipes. Simultaneously, if we are going for a plastic pipe, then we can include in it plasticized polyvinyl chloride pipes, that is PVC pipes. Also, ultra polyvinyl chloride pipes are also available nowadays. So if we look at the different types available with us, we have CI pipes, steel pipes, galvanized iron pipes, copper pipes, plastic pipes, asbestos cement pipes, concrete pipes, and the polypropylene pipes. This is the latest advantage in the field of construction industry. So if we talk about the galvanized iron pipes, this pipe is utilized for the water supply work inside the buildings. And specifically, these pipes are made up of wrought steel. So they are provided with a zinc coating so that the resistance against weathering can be provided. The application areas are, we can use it for water supply and the sewerage systems. We can use for the firefighting installations also because they can be a good pressure. Also, we are utilizing them for the plumbing systems. If we talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of these galvanized iron pipes, they, it requires a very low installation cost. Also, the maintenance is quite economical. It has a good life. It possesses toughness and anti-rusting properties. So against corrosion, it is quite good. It is useful for the large construction projects, especially if we want durability and a larger diameter along with it. Then we can go for the GI pipes. The basic disadvantages are it is quite heavy to handle, means the transportation is a, a big problem once we are installing it, it, it requires special provisions. It develops blockages whenever the excessive contents has been stuck over the surface. Like you can see in the image I've shown you, if it has been blocked by some kind of uh, particles which are moving along with this waste water, also due to various chemical reactions, it gets stuck to the uh, surfaces of the pipes. So these are uh, some of the methods how the galvanized iron pipes are actually jointed, they are connected. So these are the four different stages of connecting these GI pipes. The screwed joints, rope joints, welded joints, and the flanged joints. These are the images which are showing various type of connections between the GI pipes. With the help of screws, you can connect in this first image, how we are connecting it. And then with the grooved joints, these are the different groups available in the different directions. The water can be supplied or the waste water can be provided. Also, we have welded joints. The welding can be done in these forms, which are shown to you in the third image. And last is called the flanged joints, which are very much uh, durable, I would say, which can bear heavy pressures also. So moving further, uh, looking to the images, like these type of images are quite common in our country. If we are providing the galvanized iron pipes, we have to dig that particular area, and then we install the GI pipes in the underground systems. Galvanized iron pipes are available in various sizes. I have shown you the different grades and the sizes like 15 mm to 150 mm nominal bore sizes in mm are available in the nearby market areas. 
so the outer and the inner diameters the maximum and the minimum values as per the nominal bores are provided to you their thickness have been given to you so this is the mass per unit length i would say so its unit is kg per meter what will be the prospective mass in kg per meter length of that pipe has been shown to you in this particular section then the next variety we are having is pvc or the plastic pipes or we can say the polythene pipes right so these pipes are being utilized nowadays in a, a quick succession because even if we are supplying the cold water in the external or the internal plumbing systems these pipe do not get affected the volume changes are minimized in this pipe so we are utilizing they are available uh, in the market very easily now the latest variety is unplasticized pvc pipes that is upvc or the rigid pipes which are supplying specifically the cold water contents okay we have the second variety in the name of plasticized pvc pipes which are actually having addition of rubber so rubber content has been added to uh, it provides actually a strength also the lower strength of the pipe can be uh, supported with the help of this rubber gripping and the lower working temperature can thus be obtained as compared to the upvc pipes the third variety is called chlorinated pvc pipes which can actually be at the temperature range up to uh, 100 plus degree celsius so if we need to supply hot water directly from one end to the other end we can go for this cpvc pipes that is chlorinated pvc pipes the supply of cold and hot water is possible with the help of these plastic pipes the thickness can be varied as per the requirements also the rigid pipes uh, can supply water easily within a temperature range of 45 degree celsius so the strength decreases uh, in the case if you are going with higher temperatures also the ultraviolet radiations from the sunlight are affecting it so we need to make a uh, we need to make some arrangements so that they can be uh, used in a uh, required or a suitable condition only the advantages of these uh, plastic pipes i would say is their durability and usability in the desired forms you can convert it you can mold it into the required formats it is having good corrosion resistance because plastic is not easily affected by the weathering or the temperature conditions also the insulation is an important property means if you are supplying hot water it won't allow the heat to actually pass through it whereas um, in the case of the steel or the metallic pipe this is a big problem they will get heated if you are supplying any 100 plus degree water from one end to the other end the disadvantages are its cost and the weight nowadays these are uh, comparatively costlier because they are used for special conditions their weight is an important uh, disadvantage because uh, in case of uh, heavy flow of the water under high pressure condition i would say they do not uh, bear those pressure conditions because comparatively their weight is quite less right so we need to take the precaution against it these are some of the images in which the plastic pipe use has been shown to you the different connections available for supplying water to the plastic pipes so these are the available fittings if i talk about the steel pipes in the next case these are comparatively expensive because they are the most uh, durable and the strongest ones in terms of water supply they can withstand high water pressure they are available in longer lengths also as compared to the other pipes and their installation cost is comparatively lower so the transportation is also comparatively in the lower side only they can be easily welded in the desired formats if i talk about the advantages they are available from a smaller diameter to the larger diameter size the mass flow rate is quite high means you can supply a huge mass of water simultaneously and continuously to these pipes they are stronger and resist the damaging factors like i would say the human errors the extreme weather conditions they can easily bear those pressure conditions right finally if i talk about the disadvantages of these pipes uh, the mass transfer uh, which is going on from one end to the other end is possible but the heat transfer condition the difference between the heat transfer is not easily minimized it is often expensive people may think that this is a one time purchase means uh, this is a one time investment i would say uh, initially the cost will be higher but then uh, simultaneously if you will move further then we have a special condition that they do not uh, actually 
uh, incur a huge uh, cost in terms of the maintenance work, right? So there we can uh, save our money to a huge extent. These are the uses for casing purposes, for plant piping, sewerage systems, water main lines, pipelines for natural gases. These steel pipes are very much uh, utilized. So in the next video, we will discuss about further more varieties of these pipes. Till then, I hope you would have enjoyed and got a good view about uh, the particular varieties of these pipes. Thank you so much.